All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you a multi-airdrop qualifier that's very simple, and it will allow you to interact with all of these different layer two networks, a lot of which don't have tokens yet, and it will allow you to interact with potentially up to 120 different smart contracts at the same time. Now, I don't necessarily recommend doing all of this because it would be a little bit expensive, but you can spread it out a little bit across these different networks and these different smart contracts, and you can create a solid transaction history for relatively cheap. I previously mentioned this in one of my daily alpha videos, but I wanted to just give you a more complete tutorial on how it works and what the actual benefits are. So the way that it works is this is the ZK Stars NFT collection. There are 20 different ZK Star NFTs and each of these has its own smart contract. And on top of that, you can mint all 20 of them on these different networks, including StarkNet, although I don't necessarily recommend using this one because it's probably too late for the Stark token airdrop. Now, full disclaimer at this point, these NFTs themselves will probably not end up actually being worth money. They are gonna have a leaderboard and some achievements and it is possible at some point that if you have some of these, it could lead to some bonuses. But going into this, I think you have to have the mentality that they'll probably be worthless and that what you're really trying to do is create a vast transaction history across all of these tokenless layer two networks and interact with multiple different smart contracts at the same time. They say these NFTs are gonna have a special utility, but honestly, who knows? Anyways, they do have 120 audited smart contracts and that's what we're really trying to hit here. So the min price for these is super, super low, 0.0001 ETH. And if you mint using my referral link, you'll also support the platform because I get like a two cent or a five cent kickback from that. At the top here, once you connect your wallet, select the networks that you want to hit. And then this little slider bar here will let you choose how many you want to mint. You can also select to mint specific NFTs if you like some of them particularly more than others by just clicking on the ones that you want. Then once you selected the number and the specific ones you want to mint, just hit on the mint button here and it will pop up in your wallet asking you to confirm the transactions. So each one of these is costing me about 42 cents. The actual NFT itself is a lot cheaper, but there's gas fees on ZK Sync. And some networks have cheaper gas fees than others. So base is a little bit cheaper to transact on than ZK Sync, for example. And then you just confirm the transactions in your wallet, and each time you do, you'll be minting one of these little NFTs. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't recommend putting a large amount of money towards this. You have to consider it as sort of a sunk cost just to establish that transaction history and interact with all those different smart contracts. But even if you put like a dollar or two towards this, then you can mint a few of these NFTs, hit some different smart contracts and keep building up your transaction history, which will help you qualify for these airdrops and be in the top 10, 20% uh, and set your wallet apart from the vast majority of people that just have a couple of on-chain transactions. So yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.